so it is currently 10 o'clock we've put the tents and everything down and cleaned up the barn had a little sort out uh, Casey's currently having a nap we've had breakfast and I'm just having a mocha um, I didn't want to do a dish guys I'm not going to lie so I'm having it in these paper cups um, but yeah so it's a late like, start of vlogging this morning because we were just like in a hurry to get everything done and stuff like that and when you're in a hurry trying to get things done you actually forget to pick the camera up anyways it is a gorgeous day here in Wales and we're thinking about extending our holiday because again. yeah again guys <laughs> so we're supposed to leave tomorrow this was supposed to be our last night here um but it is a really nice pitch and i think that there's still loads more for us to see in wales and we kind of can squeeze a couple more days in before we have to be back in anyways um so yeah we're gonna extend our stay we're gonna stay here for a couple more days why not guys is the how you checked the weather yet yeah, I'll check it in a minute. It's meant to be stunning all week, ghost stuff. Oh, well, there you yeah. go then. The weather's going to be nice as well. Um, so it's currently Sunday, so a lot of the camper vans have like packed up and already went. So we are on our way to Conwy Castle, but before we go there, let me turn off the lights. We are heading into a local supermarket and picking up some stuff for tonight's barbecue. So we're having a BBQ today. We've not had a BBQ since we've even arrived in Wales, which is quite surprising. So yeah, it's a Sunday, so we're picking up some stuff for the barbecue because if Wales is anything like Newcastle, everything closes about four o'clock. I think Asda up on Newcastle is about five o'clock. So we've came to a huge retail area. We're probably thinking about getting a few extra cloves and stuff because we only packed for a few days. We didn't pack for that many days. So are you saying you need some extra underwears and socks and stuff? Yeah, I'm just downloading the footage from Super World. Oh, right, is that off the... Oh, right, yeah, the... the Sky, Sky Raider, yeah. Sky Raider, yeah. So, yeah. So, in, in landed no, it's about 20 minutes away from our site. You've got all of the supermarkets, all of the stores you can possibly think of, right down to BMQ, to Halfords. Um, so, there's loads here. Yeah. We've loaded up for a couple of days. We've got a few things here. We've got like this here because it was like 30% off, so I thought, why not? And then we've got like sausage rolls for the kids, olives, coleslaw. We've got those things, they got 30% off as well. A lot of bread, bread buns and two loaves. Some crackers, pork sausages, ham for the kids, um, cool saw as well, ham and cool saw. Sandwiches with cheese as well, gotta be with cheese. We've got some stuff for the barbecue as well. We've also got these, which we've never had before. And we're going to try them out. Um, it's like a squirt on cheese for your burgers and stuff. Um, and then we've also got like the normal one for the kids. But any second you try the jalapeno on the kids, I'll probably try the normal one. But 99 pence. So something he's currently making today is dinner. And um, we are having a ham and cheese cool sauce sandwich. Honestly, uh, guys, we go through a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread to feed seven people a sandwich. Don't you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So we always have to buy two or three loaves every time we go shopping, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Fingers crossed, I think goes a corner plan today, but we've all been up pretty early this morning. Gotten up, gotten out. I think I feel like we've gotten out quicker today than we did yesterday. Yeah, because we like kind of had a lazy start, didn't we? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say it was a lazy start, but we stayed on the site and cooked breakfast. Yeah, we had breakfast yesterday. All the kids jumped in the shower in the morning yeah. and then this morning we got up and then we just obviously put the tents down and we're like, right, ready to go. Like the and kids then, had their breakfast but we didn't bother making anything. Yeah, and you went and extended the, the stay, didn't you, for us? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So now we're popping to a Primark because we're going to do a little bit of shopping there because I need some sunglasses because we have our sunglasses that are broken. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit of shopping in Landed, no? Do you want to have a little look in the Primark, Dan? Yeah. Oh, there it is, just there. Yeah, just so it's the like just around the corner from the Aldi's and everything like that. From Landed No Beachfront, it's just like around the corner. On the back of that, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Loads of shops, yeah. There's a big, loads. massive as that cross there. There's, there's absolutely loads, isn't it? There? there is, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. They might have the Stranger thing in there. Oh yeah, they might have the, the Stranger thing merch in yeah. there. Yeah. So we've got a boot, a regretta. Next. River Island, JD, Superdrug, 
And there's a Primark. Look, guys, look how big this Primark is. We've got a beautiful little angel here as well. Are you coming shopping no, with us? Ride, by the way. In Landedo? Uh, Okay then, see you in a moment darling. So I did have these ones which I absolutely love but when I went swimming at the beach down in Cornwall uh, the wave actually swept them off my head so I lost them but I don't know whether I'll go for the same ones again or go for something different so I kind of like these two at the moment. So I've grabbed like a little side bag as well six pound because I was looking for one like for my phone and my purse and stuff like that because Sean normally carries everything or well, I put it in the baby bag which is at the back of the buggy and it's a nightmare get in and out for well, like phone if I want to take pictures and stuff like that but now we're looking at <laughs> some flip flops for Dion because I bought her like some like these from Asda and honestly guys who else hates these kind of flip flops that hurt mine and Dion's toes They are very summery, they're nice. Yeah. There's the ones I was going to get you last time I was in Primark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I bought her some like this in the beige colour and they didn't fit you, did they? <laughs> oh dear, Gillyzy, you've took your sock off. She keeps taking her socks off, guys, and she keeps losing them. And they've got cracks. <laughs> Nice. That's nice. That looks like good quality as well. Yeah. Uh, that one is 14. Right, for 14, not too keen on it. Um, yeah. Some of them as well, these are 15. Deanna be so jealous of you, she wants some combat pants. <laughs> They're nice, yeah, different. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, I see where you're going. Got the cream. I got the t-shirt but I'm not keen on that so I'm not going to get that See? and I've got this here which is a large shirt yeah that'll go nice with that no, I think like black t-shirt underneath yeah that'll go really nice Sean that, that like black t-shirt yeah nice yeah. I, get and I like the white one I like the white one as well yeah right. I don't like that denim one no Maybe yes Sam the the same way we've rolled out on them yeah of course you will be so they fit these do but this is a bit tight so I'm sure you can slacken it. Yeah I think you can slacken it look. Try see if you can slacken it. So we're currently in the changing rooms and Dion's going to try on some bikinis that she found. They look so nice. Mm -hmm. you got your little teaver. Yes. you got your little teaver. Mm -hmm. So we found Trenda now. Stranger Things and he one. said there's not very many sizes and <laughs> Dion's seen the last one she's like quickly went and grabbed it yeah. but it's too extra large and um, so it's a little bit bigger than what yeah, you wanted it's, it can be like oversized and then I can put it in a little knot at the top like yeah so it's, it's cute and they've got the ones. should we get one for Sean would Sean like one I think these are these are way more trendy. These are way more than these ones. As you can tell, there's not enough. We went shopping and there wasn't much left. The sizes are a little bit odd, but oh, Vecna top. What do you think, Sean? Yeah. Hold that. And I bought with my own money. So that's for you. I thought it was yeah. Logan. No, for you. No, for you. The size nice. is a bit odd, and there was only one more left. Was there was it? this bunch of girls that came in and grabbed like three, and there was this last one left. Mm. Get it, which I bought with my own money. Hellfire club. Hellfire top. We would have got you that one, but it was the last one left.
So we've arrived at Conwee Castle um, here in North Wales. We've just gotten some parking over here. Um, how much did you pay for? So four hours was three pounds thirty. Four hours for three pounds thirty. So we've just been to the toilets, changed Khaleesi's bum. The toilets are thirty pence mm. each. Um, just to keep in mind if you need them, just to carry some change. But now we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go inside the castle. Yes, there's a lovely little village here with some lovely like little gift shops and stuff. Ah, oh, cuddles for Mama. Kiss. Give Dion a kiss. Kiss Dion, me. Ah. Oh. So Dion got changed. After the day, this full outfit is actually from Primark as well. So I got some glasses. Two pound fifty. We'll put this back on. Got this. Excuse How me, this is Sean. He's been doing that the whole entire trip. What are you doing, recording people? <laughs> <laughs> this hell, this hellfire is tiny. Which is some strange things. If you know, you know. This is eight pound. The last one there. <laughs> it was a man's as well. Yeah, the one he had the man's in. So. Then I have these white shorts on. They were two pound fifty from Primark. I got the same shorts I did. And They're brilliant for when you wear dresses, but because I'm a mum and I'm constantly bending down and picking Khaleesi up and stuff like that, I ain't gonna show anything if I've got the shorts on. So yeah. <laughs> and some flip flops. Oh yeah, your whole outfit, even including your shoes, are from Primark. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how we have? Flops. I don't know how much these were, and this bag. I think they were five pound. This bag. Is it from Primark? I don't think. No, it's from River Island. They've had it for ages. Yeah, it's due a wash as well. Do you know how um, in the toilets you, know you have to well? pay 30 pence? Yeah. Some guys going around just opening them up for you, you know, just do that. No way. <laughs> just use a 10 pence coin and open yeah, it up. There isn't a the turf enough. I, I, was but I feel bad because like, you're not supporting the building now, you're like when you do it. Yeah. I think it's a bit of a rip, isn't it? It is, 30 pounds for you to use your toilet. Yeah. Is it exactly. What is it down the lakes? 50 pence. Oh, 50 pence. Might have been, wait, it went up with the price of the toilet all gone up. <laughs> One pound? Well, yeah, you just like, so you're like, you're you like, you're 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 like, you in AFL and here it says pick me eat me so go on help yourself not look edible smaller stuff two seconds that's oh actually Ooh. that looks edible that, that is smells edible. edible oh good let's have a look mm. marjoram mm -hmm. yeah. oh sorry so you're not eating it for nothing <laughs> For die, die on camera. Mm. <laughs> mm. Nice. Mm. I'm not actually That's eating strange. it. You and eat it? Um, mm. over here, I'll tell the boys this. Mm. This is rosemary. Oh look. No, it's mint. Yeah, Small. Well. Well. Mm. Oh, we should take some for our barbecue tonight. <laughs> Why not? Okay. Oh wow. You get fed free, don't you? The chives. Do you want to try this one? Mint? Somebody's been chopping away at these, look at it. Hello. That's like literally having a bubble gum in your mouth. It is, yeah. And you go for some more. This peas, do you want fresh If you want a fresh breath, just peas and mint. Wow, oh, it's really strong, that one. The I'm dark one's really strong. Uh, that one is. What one's that one? That one will be. That one, do you mean? All the blueberries are gone, aren't they? Are there any blueberries left? No. What's the one. green one at the back? Mm. Purple sprout and broccoli. Purple oh, sprout and broccoli? Yeah. Those are onions. That big one right there? Onion. I wow. don't know if these are not to eat because he had says. Yeah, please leave to grow. Yeah. So yeah, well they're obviously telling people to let, let it grow before they start eating it. There's kale as well. There's kale which is good for you. Oh, the boys are love that because they love Minecraft and they have kale in Minecraft. Yeah, the Welsh are putting out a lovely array of garden food for people to come and eat. I really like that. It's really fresh as well, There's isn't it Stephanie? There. There's more. Oh, let's go and explore some more then. 
Oh, these be, must be the blueberries, I bet. These are blueberries? Yeah, I thought they were. They're not really that good. These are nearly ready. They're Little. not really that good, those ones. No, they're still... Strawberries? They're still ripening up. Oh my god, look at the little teeth here, wait, that's not really done. <laughs> A little longer for that. And then some little ones here, look. Is that one steady yet? Yeah, I've got a little white that go on them. Yeah, it's so nice of this place to put that out for people, isn't it? Hi, what's this one? It's bay leaf. Oh, bay curry. leaf. Best one, yeah. Yeah. Don't know. Oh yeah, maybe bay leaf. Don't know if you can eat that straight away, by the way. Yeah, no. You just smell them. Because there's that you can smell. Yeah, maybe it's pop back that <coughs> to decompose. Oh, that smells like coriander. Looks a bit like coriander, doesn't it? Have it? a look. Parsley, that. That's parsley, yeah. The chives, yeah, it's the chives to go on your uh, salad and stuff. Just it in the toilet and I'll do that. Really good, we've been recording for five minutes or stuff. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's really nice, a really nice idea. It's not every day that you get to try some wild grown herbs. And, and fruit as well. Because yeah. if those blueberries were ready, you would have had a snack. Yes. Clean your face. I think it's great for the kids as well to have some be introduced to new foods and stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Educational as well. Yeah, big ups to that, guys, whoever put all this here. She said, no, I just want to crawl. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You come in. Come Here's a birdie. Here's a bird, Red. Come get the bird. <laughs> Yay! 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 Moving them. Yay! Dad's coming right behind you back. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I've got a bottle of water for us. But I'm going to get some mint and I'm actually going to put it in the water so we'll have like mint flavoured water. Pretty cool. Right. Take about three or four leaves. I like mine quite minty. Khaleesi's already going in for the bite. <laughs> you can't because you have to wash it Khaleesi. This is my water bottle. How pretty is this water bottle as well guys? So, we've kindly been sent a few water bottles. This is the one I chose. With this lovely like flower print. And they're really good water bottles, honestly. The, the rim's so smooth in it. It is, yeah. Um, I will leave the link down below in case you're looking for some new water bottles this summer. Because you've got to be safe and hydrated in this weather. Little handle as well. So handy. Um, we've just got entrance to the castle now, and we're now heading in. It takes about an hour to walk around, so I've heard. And um, it cost us, how much did you pay for this one, Stephanie? Uh, 36 pounds for the family. 36 pounds for the fam. Look at the view, guys. Absolutely stunning. What a place to have a castle. Yeah. So, look at the mountains, the clouds oh, Conley castle. over the mountains. And then look at the little village, um, little town. And then you've got the ancient old castle wall going around the outskirts of the town oh yeah so look wow that's where the town would have been it would have been within the castle walls at the time but they say um edward expanded and put money into the construction of the walls um at the expense of the locals so a bit of information i've been reading there we've got like a little information board for the children as well So we're just outside the castle now and I must say what a structure guys, it's huge. You got the chain bridge there goes along, we've just went on it before. This year what the kids are playing on, this would have been inside the castle walls and inside the rooms. It's um, originally Welsh oak, so this would have been the furniture and the depot of the castle. Wow, very nice. Beautiful, isn't it? So they've carved all out. So parts of these would have been parts of the castle by the looks of it. And they've just taken this part here and that part there. Yeah, you can see where they've out. joined the pieces together. Yeah, they've joined them all together here, but it's a nice thing to do to think, kind of keep it preserved. Yeah. 
So you can also do the castle wall walk. I was going to say it's not um, pushchair accessible. Yeah. So I would definitely bring like, uh, a baby, baby carrier. carrier. We didn't know that, but so, it's fine. But it's fine. We've took all our valuables out of the pushchair. We've got just a few stuff there left there. Nothing but very water, expensive. Water. Baby stuff. Just baby stuff, basically. Um, so yeah, anyways, we're going to go and do the uh, castle wall walk. So we are now at the North West Tower. Um, so we've came to I'd probably say the second or third floor, would you say? Third, I think. Probably the third. There's another floor after this, but it heads out into the town centre. So we're gonna take that one in a moment, but I would definitely recommend this guys if you ever come to Wales. Conwee Castle. Beautiful. Views are spectacular. The whole area from up here. Up the top to the North West Tower. And the boys have sounded pretty excited, so... And yeah, do not mess around up here, guys. Some serious drop. Yeah, gigantic drop. Let's go and have a look around and have a look at the views from the viewing points. Okay, stay away from the edge, guys. You're giving Dad anxiety. I must say the views from here are absolutely spectacular. Check out this guys. Right on the top of Flipping Castle I am. Right, just right here. Absolutely beautiful. Stunning. Check out this. All these mountains over here, so we're blowing. Absolutely beautiful. What a sight. tower in all of the castle and there is a lot of stairs guys a bloody well a lot of stairs but the view is absolutely spectacular all the way around i've shown you from the other one over there a moment ago when we were on the southwest but i don't know what tower this one's called but i'll get the name when we come down but i think this is the best viewpoint out of all of it you're so high up you can see all the way around the castle let you see within the castle as well full 360 view absolutely beautiful 
So we've just finished at Conway Castle. Now we've decided to have a little walk down to the little beachfront. Um, and we're looking for a tiny little house. Now I don't know much about this, but I'm sure Sean will fill you in. So it's meant to be, I believe, the smallest house in the whole of Europe. So it's a really tiny house. Um, so I mean, that says something. Second, small, uh, second largest name in all of Europe. The smallest house in all of Europe. So I'm interested to go and have a look at it and see how small it actually is, but it's actually built onto the castle wall. So it's going to be interesting to go and have a look at it all. But it's a nice little walk today across the seafront. A fishing harbour by the looks of it. All the fishermen were out before doing all their work. Looks like we found it. So the smallest house in Great Britain. So I thought it was the smallest house in all of Europe. But it is the smallest house in the whole of the UK. It's tiny. So apparently it's livable. People can actually live in there. Or somebody actually might still live in there. I don't know if they do or not. There's a tiny little door, number 10 as well. There's a number. Oh, it's locked. Um, How yeah. How was that? Oh, downstairs and then upstairs, that's all you've got. It's open Monday to Sunday, 10 to 4. Um, and our children, it's just a pound, so it's quite cheap to visit. Do you guys think? You think our house is small? That is tiny. <laughs> tiny. I know it's not the size of the house, so what matters is what you do with it, that's what matters, you know, you can make it livable. Hey, well, not would too be far. Interesting, wouldn't it, have to say like the yeah. furniture was small and stuff like that. But well, not sure if a dwarf lives in there, like, but maybe. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd literally be like five foot or something to live there, wouldn't you? Well, you house, I think. well you've been to the most smallest house in Britain. How do you feel about that, guys? <laughs> Barely arm's length. <laughs> Liverpool Arms, got yourself a nice Welsh pint of ale. Um, I'm gonna come sit out in the sun now. Okay, so we're currently sitting outside. Yeah, well, it's a Liverpool Arms. <laughs> I'm say beer before. <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm talking to the kids um, outside the pub. But we all went for fish and chips, so we just went for one fish and chips to share because basically we were the last people to be seen, so we were kind of just like given what they had left. Yeah. Um, and then we went for jumbo sausages for the kids because Jan's only one that likes fish and they had no fish left. And then a large chips for the children to share because they don't eat, they're really small, they don't, they don't really like chips that much. There wasn't much left to be honest, we're just the last ones weren't we? And then we went for a pork each for the children, a bottle of water and then me and Sean. Stephanie decided to have one because I tempted her before, a nice Welsh <laughs> pride. These are 4.40 a drink Wait, from the bar. Try really guess. good. Try and guess how much you have. Try What's think happening? I think Logan's told me, did you get seven? Yes, look, yeah. and there's one big, thick one. Wow, well, well done. Oh. Look at the size big of that one. Big old boy. That was the biggest one I think we had. It's huge, him. The clothes. Look at him, he's huge as well. Never got that. Look at him. Are you sad fun? Yeah. Yeah, well, I want to do more of it because yeah, it's so fun. Yeah, can we do more? <laughs> yeah, I've had some food. They have no food. Right. We've got it on that bin. Okay, guys, we're going to have some food, okay? Yeah, put your crabs on the bin. Um, not too close to Khaleesi Point, like on the other edge, on the other side of the bin. Yeah, it's not a bin, it's a barrel actually. Right, let's have our food then.
you caught your first? Let's have a look then. Wow, that's actually quite big. Big old crab. Well done, guys. See, you just need to keep trying and don't give up. So, we've just all been relaxing here on the jetty. Um, we had our fish and chips. Sun's going down behind us. This is our view that we've been chilling out with. Just chilling here. Uh, the children catching crabs. Kids have caught crabs. Sun's going down the distance. And lots of seagulls trying to get their crabs off them. <laughs> it's time to put your crabs back. Do you want to show everybody what, how many you got and stuff? There's a lot of big ones, a lot of red ones. Look on the sides. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, Look at all them. It don't be that one. Oh, you've got a lot of red ones. Yeah, Leave no. us a comment down below. Can you actually eat the red ones? Yeah. Right, so we're going to take them out. Oh, go on then. Try to just. Okay. <laughs> one, two. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Mr. Crab! Oh, that's a trash one. So we are back on our campsite and look, it is like literally a lot deader than what it was when we arrived on the weekend. Um, but anyways, I'm up here in the tent because oh, we went dark a little because it's Khaleesi's bedtime. We're trying to get you to sleep. Yes. Oh, Love you. I love you. <laughs> You're so cute. Um. So yeah, like look, guys, we have absolutely loads of room, and I can sit up fully in these tents as well, just because I know that we've got a lot of new subscribers, and they probably haven't seen these tents because we've had them for over a year now. But every time we turn up somewhere. Everybody is always talking about them guys. We always have people come up to us and like ask us about them and stuff like that. But you do get some sarcastic comments about it as well. <laughs> if we're telling the truth. Like things like, how do you get up there when you're drunk? And I wouldn't like to climb them stairs when I'm drunk. Or like, um, it's mainly about the height, like being so high. But that's it. People but scratch their heads, don't they? They don't understand how you get the tent on the roof. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. They can't um, understand the concept, can they? Uh, a new one we've recently had is this person that was actually staying on this site went up to one of the cleaners and said, "So how does that work? Do they clap themselves in a camper van or staying in a tent?" But other than that, yeah, everyone loves that idea. <laughs> Yes, and we had some kids, we we'll get a lot of kids walking past and going, oh, I would love to sleep up there so I could look out. But anyways, guys, Sean is cooking the barbecue. I'll just turn you around so you can see. <laughs> so we've got the barbecue. Sean's having a glass of red wine. We've got the toilets there, which I actually need to take you in and show you. We all absolutely love these toilets and showers. They're nice and clean and the workers always come and clean them as well. Um, and where that green sign is, just on the side of the building, that's where you wash your dish dishes. The kids will be back from the park by then because clean up the park up the friends and meet a couple of friends where they'll be on site. Yeah, so there's um, no park actually where the camping the, Yeah, cam camping and touring is none down yet. It's right at the main complex, but we've let them go up there by themselves. We're looking after Caleb. There is though, right over there, 
little there's a dog, dog park. park. <laughs> I know, show them that, won't we? <laughs> That's I so mean, funny. You know, you're down south when you see dog parks, and all you ever see any of them up north. No, but it's the funny. <laughs> it's funny how there's no kid park, like but there's a dog park. park. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So it's quite a unique type of thing to have a dog park on a holiday park. I've never seen it on any holiday park I've ever been to. No, no. Haven. No, um, I bear in mind, it's our second park, Dean, and so far, I am loving this park, Dean. It's probably one of the best. Well. Yeah, it is the best park you've been in comparison to the last one out we were at. But let's lie down. Come on, lie down. She doesn't like falling asleep, but you get yourself overtired, mm. don't you? Yes, you do. She's tired, but she's fighting it. You said hi to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you said hi. Right, I'm gonna get Khaleesi down for the night, guys, and then I'll catch you guys up in just a little.